Case 46 on the docket, Buckerfield versus Estrada. Okay. The plaintiff, Mr. Buckerfield, yes. you are suing the defendant in the amount of $4,000 for the cost of a nose job and the return of a diamond ring. Correct. What do you have? Yes, uh, well, the defendant and I dated for about a year and two months. Yes. And I'm suing the lying, cheating whore for uh, 4000 because uh, when we met, he was very self-conscious about his nose. He talked about it a lot, and I cared about him, so I decided, okay, I'll pay for the nose job, and he was very appreciative at the time and said he would pay me half of the cost, which was $4,000. At the end of the day, like, when I met him, I let him know what I was looking for. I told him I basically needed a um, a real man, a sugar daddy, someone who could spoil me and take care of me. He knows what he was getting himself into. Why yes. did you guys break up? Uh, we broke up because I caught him cheating. He wants the $4,000 that now, he... Now, because he's mad because he caught me cheating. Oh, whatever his reason, you promised to pay him. He doesn't have to have any and, kind and of a reason. And this was all before the cheating and everything, so... Now, what else was there? The other thing is, is the ring. What was this ring? Uh, the ring, it was, uh, it was my wedding ring with my husband who died, right? Yes. So it holds great sentimental value to me. He was doing some sort of a photo shoot, and he said he wanted a little bling. So I said, you can borrow it, but I, I, need it ba I want it back, right? And, you did and not say that. That's a lie. Uh, you no, did not say not, that. That's a lie. That is not a lie. That's fact, a lie. His, his my sister, sister you took us to dinner. Was at, I tried giving it back to you. Yeah. I told him, no, you cannot keep it, but just hang on to it for now. Because we were still in a relationship, right? I didn't think he was going to run away with it. I thought I heard it was worth a lot, so I might as well get something out of the relationship since he kicked me out with some of my things. He kicked you out because you were sleeping with someone else. Okay, but you at 23, everyone's a hoe. Ho, 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 everyone's a hoe at 23. Oh, no. Oh. Everyone's no. a hoe. No. Oh, 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 y'all so proper. Oh, you guys have split up. Get on with your life. Give him back the ring, the 4000 you owe. No one's disputing that. You owe it. You admitted you owe it. And so the court finds for the plaintiff four thousand dollars and the return of the ring <laughs> sir take the ring jerry my fans are going to be so mad at you thank you very much you're welcome thank you it feels exceptional to get the ring back sorry jerry but like when you're cute and young and beautiful like me you better drop a dollar i'm the queen of finesse boo case number 78 on the docket kimry versus Galath. Let me see what we have here. We have the plaintiff, Mr. Kimray. Correct. And you are suing the defendant, uh, Ms. Galath, for $1,404 for money owed to his Uber and Uber Eats accounts. Correct. Explain that, if you would. I put my trust in somebody I thought that was a friend, and they took advantage of that. I allowed her to use my Uber account to basically How get to How do you two, two know more. each other? She started working for me for the movie theater in 2014. And what is it that you do at the movie theater? I'm a manager. Oh, you manage a movie theater? Yes. Okay, and what do you do? I was a concessionist there. Oh, you, you worked the concession and you were the manager. Okay. Correct. So you got to know each other? Wow. Yes. She came to me and said, hey, you know, I'm having trouble. I don't have a car to get to and from work. I need to basically get to work. Is it okay if I use your Uber account? Right here I have basically all of the various rides that she used during the time she had access to my account. And then on, during the same time, she was also using my Uber Eats for mm. basically getting meals from time to time. It was fun. It was what? It was fun. Yeah, but it's, it's his money. <laughs> well, we were friends. Well, what happened? Yeah, after like years had gone by, he let me use his Uber account and I paid him back. You paid him back something? I paid him back. Totally? Yeah. To my knowledge, yeah. You know, I'm really hurt by even being here because we were friends, and this is just like yeah, really. Yeah, I'm not saying whether he, he should have or shouldn't have, but right now I want to find out. In fact, you ran up bills of pretty close to three thousand dollars. Yeah, if it had gotten that high, then why did he allow me to keep using the account? She may very well still owe you money, but there is no proof of her not paying you. I just feel like I wouldn't burn up friendship over $1,400. I look at it, how much of a friendship it is after two years that she's... Well, I don't think you guys are friends anymore, so that's... Yeah. And, and I know you don't want to be sugar daddy. He's your uber daddy. <laughs> With all these times you were using it, I don't know how you would know exactly how much. 
So I'm going to add 13 cents to that and fine for the plaintiff $1,404. Thank you, Your Honor. Case number 144 on the docket, Shield versus Edie. And welcome to both of you. We have Mr. Shield. You are suing the defendant, Ms. Edie, for $4,212 for an unpaid loan. Yes, sir. What's your story? I met this lady online called MillionaireMatch.com, and I drove two and a half hours to meet her. Upon opening the door and meeting her, I realized that this wasn't the woman that I was talking to. She was 40 pounds overweight. How do you respond? He said he is um, average build. So um, average build, I, I don't think he's average build, but I'm not here to body shame anybody. Uh, as you can see, he's much older than me. He's like my father's age. But And let's be honest, if you go on a site called millionairematch.com, <laughs> money is in your mind. I wonder why why are you on that site? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because I don't hang out in bars. I work around all men. I'm in a construction business. Yeah. So it's a dating site, and I thought I would meet more quality right. people. He gave How me 3800 That's very true. The 400 he gave me for the power bill, um, he probably forgets, I don't know how old he is, but he must have forgotten. Well, we don't need that, to insult him. But he f must have forgotten that I have taken off a whole afternoon of my work because he decided to come six hours early because he was so anxious to meet yeah. me. He transferred the money to you. Yes. Whatever his motives were, legally, this is a loan that w the expectation was when he gave it that it would be given back. And until there's written notice that he's forgiving you for this loan, which no one is handing me, the law requires you to have to pay it back. I'd fine for the plaintiff in the sum of $4,212.